Darren's been incredibly busy covering E3 this year, and as such, hasn't had time to record voiceovers for everything he's played at the event. That's where I come in. He sent over his thoughts on Laser League, and I'd like to share them with you. So let's get to it. I'm Colton, standing in for Darren, and here's our first look at Laser League. Laser League is a Tron-esque 2v2 arena fighter in the same style of a previous indie game we followed for a few years now called Just Beats and Shapes. Players select their character from a variety of visually distinct options to enter the 2v2 arena and fight it out in a first to three points three match series. The characters all play virtually the same, with the exception that every so many seconds they charge an ultimate ability unique to each character. Ultimate abilities that were on display ranged from a long-range sniper shot to a short-range sword slash, the ability to go invulnerable and negate damage for a set period, there's an AoE stun that knocks enemies unconscious, and one character has the ability to steal opponent's walls for your own. To explain the steal mechanic though, we have to understand the primary mechanic by which you win matches. As a match plays out, various shapes will begin to appear on the map in a neutral color with a power prism at the center. The first player to run across the power prism activates the shape, expanding its size, filling out its dimensions, and turning it to your team's color for identification as it moves in a set pattern on the map. If an enemy player touches one of your walls, they explode, and vice versa. However, exploding isn't the end. Should your ally be able to run over to your corpse, they can revive you an infinite number of times. To win a point, you have to kill both members of the opposite team at the same time. This is where it gets trickier. Catching a skilled opponent in one of these moving walls is no simple task. It takes timing, preemptively striking before snagging a power prism while the enemy's too close to escape, and possibly most importantly mastering the use of Pac-Man style openings on the sides of the map or keys to victory. You can instantly move from the top to the bottom or left to the right side of the map by entering these openings in the outer perimeter for quick escapes or surprise ganks on the enemy team. Once you have all that mastered, if neither side is failing, then it all comes down to how well you and your allies use your character-specific abilities to throw your opponents off their game and force mistakes. As a match continues, power-ups will begin to appear on the map that cause utter chaos. From what I saw, there were only a few types of power-ups that changed the map. Still, they're crazy to see in action. One power-up swaps the claimed color of all moving walls at the same time to the opposite team without warning. This has a tendency of ending matches in an instant as teams with full board control suddenly find themselves in a hellish rat trap. Another pickup freezes the walls in motion, including newly claimed walls. This can be used alongside some of the projectile walls to rack up multiple impending projectile walls before the power-up ends, restoring time and firing the whole wave of walls across the board at one time. A third power-up seemed to grant boosted movement speed, which can be dangerous before you get used to it. While the demo we played is still early in development, both the diversity of the character roster and the maps we played were already in a decent state. Gameplay felt responsive and fluid, with death never coming as a result of the character just not responding to my input. Some of the abilities felt a little broken, such as the close range swordsman who could straight murk you down in a single shot, and that felt counterintuitive to the whole forcing mistakes gameplay concept. That said, nothing was so overpowered that it was game-breaking as neither the sniper nor the swordsman with their instant kills was ever enough to ensure victory for one side. Well, that's all for now. If you want to see more about Laser League, make sure you subscribe and keep it locked on MMOHuts.com for all the latest coverage from E3 2017.